Hi there, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Blue Glass is CEO and Managing Director Giles Bourne. Giles, welcome back. Thank you, Jessica. So you recently announced significant technology progress with your BLG 300. But for those at home, can you tell us what it is and what you achieved? So semiconductors is all about precision manufacturing. When you're making materials like LEDs and other high performance optoelectronic devices, you need to make materials which are very uniform um, across the wafer. That, that is absolutely critical. So Blue Glass has three tools in our facility. We have two proprietary RPCVD tools, that's our technology, and one tool which is the industry standard MOCVD which we use for benchmarking. So the smaller of those two tools, which we call the BLG 180, we, we upgraded last year. And the larger tool, the BLG 300, we upgraded and just announced that fairly recently. So it's got uniform electrical properties, um, the materials are more uniform across the wafer. So when you're actually making these high performance devices, you're getting good devices from all parts of the wafer. And that is critical to introducing the technology to these manufacturing lines. In addition, the, the tools that we have in our facility are ex-production tools. They're a few generations old. They're, they're, they've made LEDs, they've made devices in, 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 in factories in Taiwan and Korea. But the tools that are being used now in production are larger. So this is a stepping stone for taking our technology onto a larger um, scale tools that are in production today. So it's critical that we have uniformity across the wafer and that we can show that we can actually scale up the tools into a bigger production plant. And Giles, you recently released your 2017 annual report. Now can you tell us more detail about the adoption of your patented technology, the RPCVD? Our work has really been focused on delivering commercial outcomes on our key projects. So we've got IQE and LumaLEDs, also working with Vico and HC Semitech. So most of the focus of the technology team has really been on the IQE and the LumaLEDs project during the course of this year. And that's been greatly helped by this scaling up of the BLG 300 tool that I've mentioned earlier. That helps drive those projects. Getting better uniformity and larger size wafers is going to help with the adoption of that technology into their manufacturing plants, which is the commercial outcome that we're looking for. We're also doing more work with our other collaboration partners, and we're seeing that scaling up over the course of the year. And can you tell us how Blue Glass is introducing new potential customers and collaborators? Back in 2015, we published some data on our RPCVD technology, which showed some good performance in our technology. That allowed us to engage with some of the major industry collaborations that we have in place. But equally, we have equipment in our facility which allows us to do contract manufacturing for people. So we do what is called custom epi or, or foundry work. And so we've got a number of new customers who come to us on a fee for service. Um, they try out um, technologies. We've got the existing incumbent MOCVD technology. And then we, we try and get them onto the RPCVD technology to try out certain applications. And what we found is not only it produces revenue for the business, but it's actually getting the technology known and tried out in certain really interesting and novel applications. So we see that as being a fairly critical pipeline for us for future customers, strategic partners, collaborators. So that's been a, a key part of the business and something we'll continue to focus on in 2018. And since we last spoke, you started a collaboration with Griffith University to develop a new transistor. Can you tell us about that? So Blue Glass has been working with Griffith University for a number of years, and we've now put in place a formal arrangement between Griffith University, Blue Glass, and the IMCRC, which is a co-funded project, really to look at developing a transistor or a high electron mobility transistor, applying the RPCVD technology. Out of this development, we expect to generate some really interesting IP and a new application. So this will run for a number of years, but it's really drawing the expertise of Blue Glass, of Griffith University and the IMCRC. Essentially, it's like having another arm to our research. Last question now, Giles, before we let you go, how is FY18 shaping up? So we see 2018 as being a pretty exciting year for Blue Glass. This is the year that we transition the technology programs with LumiLEDs and IQE into commercial outcomes. And also, we'd like to think during the course of 2018, we'll bring in more strategic partners to work on our technology programs. There's been a lot of inbound interest to Blue Glass uh, looking at our technology. Obviously, we have limited resources, so we're constantly evaluating who we can work with and where we think the best commercial outcome is. But we would like to think that during the course of this year, we'll have other major strategic partners working with Blue Glass. So we think it's a pretty exciting time in terms of rolling out the technology into multiple applications. Very exciting indeed. Thanks so much for the update, Giles Bourne. Thank you.